In the previous episode, we helped the artist, Oscar, try to get rid of his really angry ex-girlfriend. And you know what? We succeeded. And then we kind of messed around for a little bit. But in today's episode, we're going to go a place that I apparently have just totally missed. <laughs> because it, we've gone over to the estate over here, but there's a bridge. And the bridge leads us to the House of Grief. And yes, we're going to do Dar the Daughter of Darkness quest today. So that's what we're going to head and do. It's going to be, I don't know, maybe a short episode. We'll see how long this takes. But <clears throat> I have done it. I have finally finished the major project I've been working on since like mid-March. Since the 16th, or sorry, since mid-February. Uh, 16th of February all the way to now, or as of yesterday, which would have been March 2nd. Um, or I guess it would be technically... Yeah, I guess it is March 2nd, not the 1st, because I was up until 5.30 in the morning this morning um, getting this painting commission done. But you know what? I'm so happy for- who is singing? Why are you singing? Pardon my singing. That lullaby has been stuck in my head since... Oh, funny. I can't recall. Um... It's interesting. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this is apparently the House of Grief. Do you seek help? You are in the right place. Alright, let's, let's talk to her. Welcome. The House of Grief lies just within. We are here to help. Okay, is this like the House of Healing? I just realized that the House of Healing was a thing, what, in Act 2? And um, now we're at the House of Grief. It's kind of weird. Wonderful little beast. Nimble as anything. Uh, studies a man's appearance? Why? I mean, I guess I could, but I don't think that's going to go very good. What are you looking at? There was a squirrel in the tree. Marvelous creature. Inquisitive and nut crazed. <laughs> okay. Uh <laughs> you'd get on with someone I know called Halson. Halson. Is he of the Feybergs, the candelabra makers? Uh he's a druid, no. Hmm. Perhaps it was Hagrin. <laughs> Wonderful craftspeople, but truly terrible deal makers. <laughs> Um, are you feeling well? You seem distracted. Oh, just tired, I suppose. Same. It's been quite a long day. Ditto. Well, at least I think it has. You wouldn't happen to know where I live, would you? What is going on with all these people? So you have the person on the bridge who doesn't recall when she got that song stuck in her head. And then you got this guy who is, like, really distracted. Um... I'm going to do the Dragonborn one. Do I look like I'm from around here? I mean, technically I am, but it's funny. I don't know. This is more than a lapse, you sense. Something's been done to the man's memories. Hmm. Oh, is that what the House of Grief is doing? Like, they're grieving and then, like, these people are just using some kind of magic to, to like, get rid of these people's memory? Hmm. Very interesting. What do you remember? Well, I remember I was sad. Yeah, that's it but then. In truth, I'm not quite sure what caused it. I'm not even sure I know what sad is anymore. And I came from that building over there. They were very nice to me. Seemed very helpful. Although, for the life of me, <laughs> I can't recall what I was doing there in the first place. Huh. Um, is there anyone you could, where you could go? There must be, you would think. You know, I can swear there is someone, but their name escapes me. Hells, even their face escapes me. <laughs> A figment of my imagination, perhaps. <laughs> oh, it will come back to me. Or not. I'm content enough here, in either case. Wow. You know what? That is, like, not okay that <laughs> they're doing this to these people. Um... I'm very curious to see how this ends up going. Is there like a whole back area to this too? What's back over here? It's a book. 
Oh, it's saving. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's how you know something's about to happen. Ventured the House of Grief. Surprising habits of Kara Turian warlords now. Oh, some flowers and whatnot. Um, and some fruits. I'll take these. I may as well pick these up. Actually, I'm pretty low on a lot of crafting materials for potions and whatnot because I had been using it um, in recent episodes. So let's go ahead and just get all that. Also, quickly finish what I was saying. So, yeah, I've, I've been working on this painting commission since uh, for about 15 days, for about two weeks. And it uh, it's taken me 49 hours total to finish just the painting part. There's also an additional 10 hours of building the models, but uh, I want to show them off because I think I think it it came out really, really cool. So it's the first part of this guy's army uh, commission, which is for the Black Templars in Warhammer 40k. They these cards are, are the uh, the sword brethren that if they have swords, you would expect, you know, that to be the, the name. And I, there's uh, three units of them. So there's 15 minis and these are th this is going to make up the bulk of the time that I spend on this painting commission. So, yeah, it took 50 hours essentially to, to finish, which averages about three and a half hours a uh, mini, which is pretty good when you when you consider like some people spend far longer than that on a single mini and get uh, less results. So I was very happy with the, the time commitment. Um, but, yeah, that was that we got that done. Now that that's out of the way, I'm, I still have other stuff that I got to work at. I'm still finishing the rest of this guy's army, but this week I get to change to something different to paint some cyberpunk stuff for somebody and then I jump back into doing more Black Templars, but nothing else in his army, this Black Templars army is going to require 50 hours of investment. A lot of it is like one-off vehicles and characters and whatnot. So that's more like I sit down in an afternoon and get most of the painting done on a single thing. So I've been, uh, this has taken the bulk of my time to finish and that's resulted in what you've seen over the last couple of weeks of like shorter videos generally and um, me being really tired and being like, this is going to be a short episode. <laughs> this is the final one. Though. I'm just tired because I went to bed way too late last night getting this finished in time to deliver to this guy today. I didn't need to deliver today, but you know that thing like when you the got a project grief welcomes you and stands ready to ease your troubles. When you got a project like a big project and that feeling of like when you're finally done, it's like taking a really heavy backpack off. You're like, oh, thank God, like I can actually relax now. Um, I, I wanted to get that feeling. So I because I've been working on it for two weeks. So I got it done. Got that nice. Like, let's get that off my back kind of thing and and uh, move on to something else is way less stressful. Welcome to the House of Grief. Or perhaps welcome is the wrong word, Shadowheart. There's been some debate whether you'd even show up and face the consequences of your actions. I assumed you'd try to flee, like a craven. Spare me your venom. I'm sure the Mother Superior will have plenty of her own. All in due time. Hmm. Uh, I don't like this. We should leave, Shadowheart. Or I met a man who'd been robbed of his memories. Your handiwork? This is a place of healing. Yeah, sure. Anyone who partook in our methods did so willingly and left with a smile on their face, freed from their troubles. Would you accuse a surgeon of robbing a tumor? I think not. A little different. Very different. Um, let us pass. As I said, in due time. First, you submit to the mapping of the heart. Only then can we know what is to be done with you. Uh, the mapping of what now? This is the house of grief. We strive to help those whose hearts have grown heavy. Be it with anger, melancholy, grief, or treachery. Submit to the mapping and reveal what lurks in your heart. If you consent, follow me. If you do not, leave. Well, hell, what do we do? Do I talk to Shadowheart? Be like, what do you want? Uh, do, do, do. Complete the mapping of the heart. We have agreed to partake in the first stage of the unburdening. I mean, have we though? <laughs> have I agreed to that? Can I talk to her? So Will's the blade of Avernus now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Who cares about that's him? a new sort of frontier for him. 
Uh, no, she she ain't got nothing. Hmm. I guess. I guess we we go back there. I mean, do I want to do this though? Find a way into the cloister. We arrived at the House of Grief, where the Sharon Cloister is said to be hidden. Shadowheart was greeted by an attendant, Miri, who told us that she was expected. We must continue farther inside until we reach the innermost depths of the Sharon presence in the city. Only there can Shadowheart carry out her goddess's will. That sounds so awesome. <laughs> I love that. Okay. We have investigated. Habits of uh, lower city and upstate. I don't need any of this. All right. Do we sit at the bench? We made it to the back room. We should have a look around. Let us sit. Yeah, I had a feeling that's what it was. You seek to be unburdened, yes? The mapping of the heart can reveal the way. Yet, there is another here whose need is great. That voice. Allow me. I think I'm supposed to do this. Oh, thank you. Uh, go ahead, sure. Do you know why you are here? There is something I lost. No. Had taken from me. My family. My life. I want it all back. Loss is a gift, girl. Do you still not understand that? Now give me the true answer. What is your purpose in being here? Hmm. I'm gonna remain silent. I'm gonna stay out of this. The Let her do her thing. I was sent to retrieve it. At any cost. And who tasked you with this mission? The Mother Superior. Of Sha... It's you. Give me the honor of my name. In full. I... I can't. My memories. I know what's in that head of yours better than you do, girl. My name. Mother Superior. Lyconia Devere. You still have the wits to recognize your betters. Good. Is she gonna now die? Descend. Are we gonna kill this lady? You have much to answer for. She just. It's kind of attitude -y. An astral projection. Clever girl. She's not taking any chances. We shouldn't either. Good point, Sterian. Good point. I'm I'm enjoying this already. This is cool. I missed a perception check. Oh, it was probably with this wall. <laughs> well, you know what? Um we do carry a hammer just for this occasion, you know. Let's bust through it, baby. I may have missed my perception check, but I... I can see the way. What's in here? I... I think I might have hurt people here. Learned how to break their bodies. Their spirits. Oh, I see. Quiet in here now. But it wasn't always so. Screams rang off these walls. I swear I can almost hear them. Interesting. Um, interrogation in three levels. A manual for Sharon interrogators describing three levels of induced stress, emotional, physical, and lethal. It emphasizes eliciting information over punishment and cautions the interrogator against becoming emotionally involved in the process, either sympathetically or sadistically. Hmm. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to find anything in here. What am I doing? <laughs> can, I, can I just open this door or is it not going to let me? No, it's technically locked, but I mean, we're... Just empties out into there. We'll just walk up and around. No reason to lock picket. So, so she tortured people, and that's kind of where we're getting at here. Is where, what she was before is not who she is now, right? Maybe we. Uh, what's this? Infiltration training. Maybe we assist her. 
and realizing that you know, life is uh, life is a lot better now. These people were awful. Gotta leave it to historian. These things have stayed interesting. It's able to open anything. Dream oh goodness! In red. Elegant chest. Cart uh, cartilaginous chest. Oh, you know what? I'll take uh, I'll take these. More for me. Cunning so disguise can serve a warrior of the Dark Lady better than any arm. Mm. That's what they always told us. Hmm. I think this was my favorite part. Putting these on. Pretending to be someone else. I suppose that's been my whole life. Look, if we can get through the end of this process and her being like, hey, Trust me. I I didn't realize Trust just me. how um, deceitful I was being to myself, you know, Let's crack it open. then then that's a win for us. Oh, I don't need lucky. Yeah, <laughs> roll to 32. Take that. It's like, um, I just, I, I feel like since, oh, I did, goodness, I did it again. Since we've gotten through all of act two with her, I feel like she's kind of been a, a little different of a person in a good way, like in a really good way. And I'm really happy with, with the Still breathing. progress that she's Despite made as a character. Everything. So I'm kind of curious to see how this ends up cursed. panning out. All right. The pages in this handwritten notebook have been torn out except for the final page, which was only partially removed. The remaining texts reads as follows, follows rather. Uh, Sharon agents in summary must be trained to deal with conventional illithid and githyanki traps, locks, levers, and controls. But most importantly, they must be mentally prepared to face extreme situations under alien conditions. Casualties are expected, but that circumstance must not halt the mission. Agents are to be deep imbued to regard mission critical or mission success as critical and even beyond survival. Uh, report activities to Gortash. What? Oh, come on. Just picked it up. Uh, 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 sort by latest. A detailed report from a Sharon agent, dark adept Bilvoy Reed about the activities of Enver Gortash, an armed smuggler the uh, Sharans had designated a person of interest. The report concludes with the lines below. Gortash, whom we believe to be a follower of the tyranny godling Bane, has recently been consorting with a leading adherent of the murder godling Ball. The pair were observed entering the Devil's Fee. They conferred for over an hour with the establishment's uh, proprietor, rather, uh, the known diabolist Hellsick. This must be considered significant as Helsick is uh, re reputed to be able to open the gate or open gate portals to the hells if her extravagant fees are met. Ooh. That's interesting. So we just learned quite a bit about Free Orpheus. We learned that the Diabolist called Helsink helped Gortash open a portal to the hells. We should track her down in the lower city. Guess we're going to do that next. We gotta confront a Viconia. With haste. Hammers, a bunch of crap. This is very interesting. I'm I am very much enjoying her quest so far. <laughs> the way they've set this up is great. They're like a full-on spy organization. Man, it sucks that we're not actually gaining XP. A whole stolen childhood spent in these halls. The Mother Superior must be close. Soon this will all be over. Interesting. Oh yeah, we're like, <laughs> we're getting down here, you know. This this might be a fight. I have a feeling Keep they're they're going. not gonna like what Shadowheart has done. The Mother Superior is expecting you. All right, Shorty. The Shard stuff looks really cool. That is for sure. But honestly, <clears throat> their methods are a little more questionable. <laughs> and I kind of really like the... Oh, 
gone they fading. already it. heard how you disgraced yourself before Lady Shah, how she marked you as the enemy. But it is quite another thing for them to see it for themselves. I am very glad you decided to return. A cautionary tale such as yours will be studied by Lady Shah's initiates for years to come. But perhaps I can make a case for some small measure of mercy. Give me the artifact, and I can at least make this quick. Enough. I don't answer to you. Not anymore. I'm here for my family. That's right. I know what you did. And it's not going to be quick. This is your family. And now you have turned your back on it. The artifact was your last chance to prove yourself. And you squandered it. Um, yeah. As I was saying, I really like the way that the that she's changed. Um, she's kind of become more like my character, which is kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, this, uh, I think these uh, Sharns are about to feel the wrath of Saloon. Uh, Shadowheart has nothing to prove to the likes of you. This was a mistake. Should I come here? Artifact's so important to you. Keep silent. I'm going to keep silent. I want to see what she says. You there. Surrender this one to me now. And you can consider Lady Shah's forces your allies in the battles to come. Never. <laughs> what kind of what kind of thing is that? Okay. Um. Oh, this is very interesting. This, this is gonna be a battle. <laughs> a very long battle. All right, so we have her sitting here, but she's got Nightbringer's Beloved. Uh, where is it? Uh, Shard's ardent fervor lets her chosen disciple regain seven to 56 HP every time they use their channel divinity. That's pretty good. Radiant retort. Whenever you take radiant damage, reflect it back at your attacker twofold as force damage. Good to know. Okay. My paladin does not attack her. <laughs> Sanctuary. Uh, affected entity can't be targeted by enemies, attacks, or spells. However, it can still take damage from spells that influence a larger area. Condition ends if the affected entity attacks or harms another creature. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. Rebuke the mighty. When a foe hits you with a melee attack, you can use this as your reaction. Yeah, yeah. Shars Umbre. Uh, while obscured, the wearer has advantage on stealth checks. Shield of Faith also grants plus two bonus saving throws. Spell Guard. Advantage on saving throws against spell attack rolls. Sunlight sensitivity, though. Well, in sunlight, this creature has disadvantage on attack rolls. That actually might be a good start getting sunlight out um, for us because I have a feeling it's because she's a, a, a what do you call it? Dark elf. So we got a bunch of novitiates here. There's some centuries. How do I handle this? This can be very curious. I think right now we're in a situation where they outnumber us significantly. So we got to be smart and tactical about this instead of just charging headlong in, which is what we normally do. We need to get all of these people to come to us. So, um, Starion's going to just jump in here, start popping some fools. Uh, we need Karlak to rage. That's what she does. We got two on either side here, don't we? I kind of want to take this one out first. Seems to be a caster. Actually might be a great start. Not enough movement to get to there, unfortunately. Um, but she can get to this guy. So we'll run her over here to tie this guy up. Uh, and potentially kill him? I just took off more than half his health. Damn. Oh, knocked out. No, no, no. I don't want to. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't. Oh, goodness. Do I want to knock him out? Passives. No, non-lethal attacks. Let's turn that off, baby. <laughs> that guy's gonna die to some kind of AOE. It's fine. Um, should have got anything else? She's got a slight amount of movement though, so I could kind of move her up to try to block a bit. All right, and then, uh, do I just want to melee with him? I kind of do. So we will dash. I'm gonna get him all the way up and around just to get some 
Like they they can pop off here and attack him. Maybe maybe after I attack, I kind of rotate him a little bit. Um, but can't get advantage, so we're just gonna main hand attack. And then we will do our duelists. All right, now I will, yeah, I'll readjust him a little bit here. Um, I mean, he's got more movement speed. I could take an attack of opportunity, but I don't think that's worth it. We'll end his turn. All right, let's see what they do. Wayward heart. Okay, then. All right, they are now blinded over there, which actually is not a bad thing because that means people can't attack into it either. I mean, minus like big AOE attacks. There's gonna be a lot of dudes coming right at my paladin. He's gonna die. Potentially. Shadow step. Okay, that just helped. <laughs> it was really nice actually, putting darkness there. Oh, but he is, he is in it too. Oh, that sucks. He's, he's going to go down for sure. We can, we can get him up, but we, I'm not going to be able to. Oh my goodness. He's almost dead. All right. This is really, really interesting. How do I handle this? Nothing important is ever easy. Well, I think my paladin. Do I have, um, I do have Misty Step. So I can bonus action Misty Step off this way. How is that provoking an attack of opportunity though? Oh, is it because I'm in darkness? Is there a way to get rid of the darkness? I'm ready. Let's check her sunlight or daylight. Blah, blah, blah. Dispels all darkness around it. Okay, beautiful. So we're gonna do a sphere. Just right here. We're gonna we're gonna play in this sphere. This is gonna be our sphere. Cool. That gives my paladin the opportunity to bounce out, baby. Although neither one of these have gone yet, which is unfortunate. Because that means I might get whacked here. Although I can fly over to the other side. But killing her off is probably at best for us. Uh one more attack. Boom, gets him invisible, so he's totes fine at the moment. Um, I can fly him off over here. Which I'm gonna do. Ready. And then we're gonna move Shadowheart this direction. And go ahead and mass healing world, uh, healing word rather. Oh, I didn't get him. Mm, that's unfortunate. That was totally a waste then. Well, that sucks. Oh, well. Sometimes the only way out is through. And he's got no more. Well, he does have movement. I am going to just move him over here. It's probably better. Him being invisible is so clutch. Okay. Unfortunately, it doesn't keep darkness from being cast. It just dispels it the one time. Hmm. That's annoying. At least if we're fighting her in the darkness, she's not getting any benefit out of it, you know? Also, these people are going to go down really fast the moment we start popping them off. Which is super good. We, we saw this when we fought the werewolves and everything. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Dashing up. Big AoE here for us. Potential. We can get Shadowheart to do like a flame strike or something. Alright, these nerds all have to dash in. Cool. So, how do I want to do this? I think, I think we get Karlak in here first. And I'm gonna try to free car or I'm gonna try to free Shadowheart up. And just be in the darkness. Which sucks. This is when having like um Will would be good over Astarian, because Will could like knock these people about. As we saw. It's really, really strong. Um for the slaughter. 
I mean, I can just like run over here and attack this one. But I don't know. This person seems to be in the darkness as well. What if I run over here? No, no longer blinded. All right, let's 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 try to kill this one off. Like sneak attack. That's <laughs> so good. Okay, and then we can move a starion over. Hide. No. Oh. Maybe, maybe just put him here. I didn't realize that that was not to add a line of sight. Um, Carlac, let's get her down here, yeah? Man, she just wrecks things. And she will 100% kill this guy if she hits. Cool. Move her up. Uh, I, I like her kind of being in the thick of it, so I'm going to keep her there. And her turn. Let's see what everybody else does. All right, so now, now that she's kind of moved forward, it's time. Aha, trying to detect my paladin. <laughs> so funny. So yeah, it is definitely time to get Shadow or uh, Karlak in there. She's just gonna go in and start smacking because we can kill her very quickly. She only has 124 health. Oh no, he got knocked out. All right, well, nobody else can get up here and, and damage him, I don't think. So it's pretty okay for us. Oh my goodness with that. He only has three health left. Okay. Pfft. How do I want to handle this? I don't know yet. Um. I mean, she can moonbeam. But it's concentration. Maybe spirit guardians might be the, the better option here. I feel like I, I have to preserve life though. But I have to do it while in line of sight in my paladin. So we have to take an attack of opportunity. Which is fine. She's about to heal everybody up. Let's preserve life. Yep. And. Even a healing word is not going to be really enough here. What, what has he got exactly that he can do? So the problem is his weapon. Oh no, it doesn't have. It was the other weapon that has radiant damage on it. Oh, I could totally get to her. Or I can kill these guys off. They have 150 health though. Hmm. I have to consider this for a second. So. So I could healing word my paladin. Right? She she doesn't have really any actions left. But mass healing word might be the best option. Although that gets rid of my last level three. And I want one for spirit guardians. Hmm. Time to push my luck again. I mean, bonus action, he could pop like a massive heal. So I have a bunch of potions. Um. Yeah, let's do supreme healing. Let's completely negate everything they just did to him. <clears throat> And then I think I I think I try to lead her in this direction, maybe. But man, she's in a really good spot for us to just dive in and start dealing damage. Problem is if I crit and it auto I would have to turn the auto smite off. But I would need both of my nerds. Mm, I think I gotta help Asterion out here. I think that's what we do. So we level one smite this guy. Uh, let's do Executioner, Paralysis, we're gonna level one. Bucket the far rounds. Oh, I didn't need to do that, it was auto a crit anyways. Mm, that's unfortunate. Alright, so we end his turn, and I am gonna move Shadowheart. Although, th their little AoE things, really annoying, not gonna lie. 
do I just do a spell slot restoration here? Not really. I don't need another level three. I'd rather use like a big one and then restore that. Ah, the blind everywhere. So annoying. All right, so these guys don't get any other actions. They get to dash up. It puts us in a pretty good spot. I could I could back out and have a Starian, um arrow them or something, you know? I mean, the fact that they have to keep trying to get to us because we're kind of hiding around pillars is really helpful. It's coming up. Yeah, I think I think getting Carlac in there in the thick of it to attack her might be very good. But like Yeah, here's the thing, like if I just moonbeam <laughs> or flame strike or whatever it is, like right on top of all this, it's so good. Um let's let's look at that for a second. Let's look at Shadowheart. This is 10 to 60 damage. This is 3 to 30. But this this keeps happening. Um, I could also Insect Plague. But let's let's assume my Flame Strike. What's the what's the the range on that? I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Go for the throat. Um, I think Astarian needs to finish this person off. <laughs> And then I think I disengage and I'm going to pop him off this direction and we are going to Roaring Thunder. Oh, he's already done a main hand attack. Oh crap. I meant to use that to kill. Hmm. And it's not like I can throw anything. Well, crap, that didn't quite go the way that I wanted it to. Hmm. Damn it, that sucks. All right, either way, I think it's better to spread him out. So I'm gonna move him over there and try to hide. So, as far as Carlac, there's a lot of dudes down here now. I think maybe I just try to do as much damage with Carlac as possible this turn. Just leave her down here in the tank. Try to try to absorb some of those actions. So yeah, she just completely removed one one activation by herself, and she's gonna do it again on her next turn. So I'm kind of okay with that. I am gonna move her slight around here because it. The reason why is you can't move through your own dudes, right? So by having her here, it kind of means that nobody else can get through. So it's kind of protecting our guys up here. So she's screening for us. All right, totally fine with that. And now she's squeaked by because blinded her. Okay, bone chill. That's fine. In fact, it's, it's kind of nice that she's moved up here. That means that we can now just move down to her and attack her. Uh, let's reward. Did he? He failed his roll. Okay. Well, I have no AOEs, so I like Shadowheart. Target is too far. Hmm. What if I Moonbeam on top of him? Is it because of the darkness that it's doing this? I believe it is. So she, she has to actively target herself. Hmm. Still on my feet. Okay, I think what we do is we're gonna Very bounce well. down here. And um I need to save my bonus action. Because I'm gonna try to let Shadowheart do some damage. So we're gonna why can't I drink that? He has a bonus action. Why well, want to drink it? Unable to heal myself right now. From what? Bone chilled. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Fine. 
Um, this might be bad, but we're gonna we're gonna go to passives and we're gonna turn off. Or is it uh, common? Passives. It's under his like. It's it's like in his uh, spellbook maybe. Reactions. Yeah, let's not smite on critical hit, please. <laughs> Because she still has her Radiant Retort. But we'll just smack her around. Um, which is nice. We got her already down to 68 health. Got to keep fighting. Um, I'm going to move Char... Or Char I'm going to move her out this way. Oh, it's so annoying. That in order to cast this crap... The darkness needs to be gotten rid of. And no matter what, if I get rid of it, it's just going to be casted again. Oh, that's so annoying. Can I move the moonbeam on this turn? I can use the action to move the moonbeam 60 feet. I mean, the moonbeam would absolutely wreck these nerds. I wonder if my paladin comes easy has anything. Days. Scroll of darkness, elixir of dark vision. What's this one? Drink to gain the ability to see in the dark up to 40 feet, places the effects, blah, blah, blah. But does that. Okay. What if I send this to Shadowheart? I don't think this is going to work. But it's it's a bonus action, so I'm not like. Is that gonna allow her now to cast things? No. All right, that's fine. Whatever, whatever. <sighs> How do I handle this? This is a tough one because of this stupid crap. That's radiant damage. Yeah. How does that work? If if this is doing radiant damage, but it's coming from a moonbeam, does it cast it back at her? I don't know. I can guardian. That might help. Uh, is there any other buffs that she might be able to do on her turn? I was hoping that she could like do big AOE stuff, but she can't because of all the stupid darkness. It's not going to help if I get rid of the darkness again because it's just going to come back. Hmm. This is very unfortunate. Don't need to divine intervention. We're going to save that for the final fight. <sighs> I feel like I'm I feel like I'm kind of lost here. I mean, I could preserve life, pop off on them. Oh, my paladin still can't be healed, so I just wasted her turn. Oh, that's bull crap. I just completely forgot about it because I spent so long deliberating how to get an AoE attack on all these nerds stacked up. That's so annoying. I gotta get rid of that bone chill. Right, they're all coming over to Asterion, which is fine because Asterion can still go invisible. <laughs> he still has that ability. But he can he can literally just disengage, run away, and um, hit with an AoE arrow. So, like, none of that really matters to us. And now we've got enough people over here to kind of justify casting Moonbeam. But, man, if I could get a Moonbeam on all these nerds, holy crap. I can, I can just keep kiting them around with Hysterion. There's no reason not to. I think that's what I'm going to do. Main hand attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Because he gets a free disengage. So I think that's exactly what we do. We disengage. We're going to run off okay. this way. We're going to go here. The smoke powder arrow. Right at all these nerds. So good. <laughs> um, let's see here. I think I... I think I dash again? What just happened? Oh, I hit disengage, not dash. Damn it. Okay, whatever. 
these guys. I need to pay attention. The thing is, I'm so tired. That's also not very helpful. Um, I will happily take some attacks of opportunity here. To get up here and... And whack her. Do it again. And one more time. Dead. <laughs> Knocked out. Why? Is... No, I have non-lethal attacks off. So that's just, it's not going to let me kill her right away. All right, that's fine. Ah, oh, she knows stuff, right? Can't, can't let, can't let my characters kill her. I'm kind of be kind of curious how the these three act, or I guess these two act before we get back to my paladin and Shadowheart's turn. If this person acts at all. Come on. All right, this one's gonna move. And attack Shadowheart, totally whiff. Uh, let's spell. Shocker. Cool. Um, with that done, now we can kind of go ham. He's not. He's still bone chilled, so I can't really do much with him. But we can level two smite. We can level one smite. That gets him super low, her super low. Um, move him up. And I still can't heal, so. Right, this is an interesting one, because again, it puts me in a situation where I can do things like cast Moonbeam and actually utilize the Moonbeam. Um, or I could do like Spirit Guardians. But that's also concentration. Hmm. Maybe a spirit guardian. That one will die. This one will get pretty low. I could just wander off this direction and start dealing damage to that. Uh, maybe these three try to attack her. That'd be great. Let's try that. Uh, we'll go. The radiant. Ah, almost killed her. Okay. Run this way. A little further. Oh, just out of range. Totally fine. And... At least you're getting in the casting stuff, you know. Yeah, it'd be great not to have bone chill. <laughs> yeah, okay, perfect. They just ran in to try to attack her. That's what I was hoping. More darkness. Blah. This is gonna bone chill again. My paladin definitely gonna go down. Can't get rid of bone chill. Is there, is, is there any way to get rid of it? Doesn't look like it. That's really annoying. We rely rely a lot on healing. So good misses. That person just evaporated. This dog's almost dead. Okay, um, now we can do this. So now we can, well, actually, let's let's attack with our bonus action first. Oh, come on, one health, are you kidding me? I really don't wanna use an action to get rid of his one freaking health. I don't think there's any other way to do it either. Fine. It's just whatever. All right, then we'll move him over. Um, I would like to dash, because I want to get in melee with her in his turn. Yes. All right, Karlak can finish everybody off. So 56, 42, or 64. That will provoke an attack of opportunity. Let's just attack this. Try to kill him. Critical miss, oh, that sucks. All right, fine. Just attack him and kill it this time. Oh, it's a shape shift. Okay, that makes sense. So I have to go through two health bars. <clears throat> Whatever. I'm not in like dire straits here. I think my paladin should be fine. Death away, 
Oh, that miss was so clutch. Oh, the double miss. Well, that is absolutely incredible. <laughs> um, wow. So I just need to kill something with him and he's safe. So I think that is what we do. We're going to run over here. We're going to kill this one. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I'm gonna fly off this way. I'll just leave him here so that way he doesn't die this turn and then I can get a heal on him because he's not getting freaking bone chilled constantly. Let's this. And then with her, she could just attack and kill. <laughs> really, one health left. It's gonna start its turn and die. Oh, that's so annoying. You know what? I think we uh, we just move forward. This, this is taking a little longer than I anticipated. Do some extra damage. I think big fights like this with just a lot of people doing their turns just generally takes longer. Because <clears throat> the amount of actions per round is so high, you know? It's kind of annoying. Is she, she trying to search for my paladin? Can't find him, boy. He flew. Literally, he flew away. Man, the blinding is so annoying. It makes you wonder how many times they can actually cast that. Because if they're at their last time casting it and I just put a sunlight down or something, just get rid of it all to pee. That'd be great. Alright, starring. Um... Let's let's kill this fool. So we're gonna we're gonna offhand attack it. <clears throat> Almost get that sneak attack. What? I can't have dis. Oh right, can't have disadvantage because I'm in darkness. So stupid. Uh, and then we'll move him over here because again, attacks of opportunity very powerful. She can just whack at everybody. Man, that disadvantage really sucks. 75% Alright, one more attack to kill this one off Or not Karlak is a monster though Uh, let's reroll Everybody's making their saves Everybody's dodging So I kind of want my paladin to still remain relatively close here. So I think it's best to just move him over here and attack. Um, so we're going to level two smite. We're going to level three smite. Oh, we got the concentration on the darkness gone. That is amazing. Let's go ahead and hit this one. Yeah. All right, end his turn. She can come over here. Deal some damage and just, uh, where is it? Do, do, do. Cure wounds. Oh, he's slightly out of range because he had to move over there. All right, whatever. We'll, we'll heal with a um, level four on everybody. So give him slightly more HP. I don't think that's actually going to help, but it's better than nothing. Uh, this is concentration, so we can't use that. That's concentration, so we can't do that. This is not concentration. And we may as well do it. Because if I don't, I'm just wasting a mansion. Oh, got rid of that darkness too. Oh, well, look at that. Beautiful. Enter. Stop bone chilling me, damn it. I think they always make that save. I think I've almost never gotten that save to actually happen. So... <laughs> I don't really feel, outside of being able to fly, I don't really feel like the tadpole powers are hyper good. I rarely use them because of that fact. Alright, let's see here. Uh, let's try to kill him with an offhand. It's close. I uh, can't have disadvantage, but he could just main hand attack. And then we can move him over here to give this one disadvantage. 
on ranged attacks. Um, she can... Where is it? Reckless, this one. She can attack this one. And she can frenzied. Boom, she killed two people in one turn. <laughs> this, this is over. This one's almost dead. Uh, Asterion will be able to do it. Had I realized that they were doing a concentration effect on the darkness, that would have gone a lot different. Goodbye. Okay, maybe not. Goodbye. I hate this game. <laughs> Don't want them going down. <laughs> Fine. Like I don't even know what to do with that anymore. <laughs> um, he, they're gonna die. Okay, so let's let's dash to get her over here to help help Karlak out. Still made the save though. Like double critical miss. The likelihood of that is very low. On a 90% chance to hit, you know? Cool. Uh, does he have enough dash to get all the way over here? I think he does. Move him a little out of the way. Cool. Alright, she can place. get in here, get out of the darkness. Make her attacks. Yeah. Yeah. One more. Bam. We did it. Is she gonna wanna talk? Can we can we short rest real quick? Yeah, that was quite the fight for sure. Curious to see what she's gonna have to say about all that. <laughs> 